everyone, my name is Jess Chong. I'm a pharmacist and have been in the pharmaceutical line for about 14 years. Today we are going to talk about how to naturally improve our immune system and the cell therapy of cancer and the natural ingredient called phycocyanin. In fact, our immune system is using so many ways to protect our body from the harmful microorganisms, for example, bacteria, virus, and uh, other activity of immunity basically will lead to a lot of illnesses, tumors, and uh, infections. And overactivation of the immune system basically will cause a lot of allergies and autoimmune disease disorder. Hence, to ob obtain a very good immune system, basically, we need to adopt a very, very healthy lifestyle. Like, for example, avoid smoking, avoid alcohol, have a lot of sunlight, exercise, then uh, avoid stress. Eat a lot of fresh foods, no junk food, no processed food, and drink plenty of water. Basically, all this we understand it very, very well. But in fact, actually, for those that stay in the city, like KL, Penang, Johor, this might seem a little bit of a miracle. So, um, during this COVID 19 uh, era, basically, there are actually a lot of other diseases that we need to take care of, like, for example, cancer. Cancer basically is a very deadliest disease that actually, until nowadays, there are actually no medication for that. So, um, uh, like women, the ratio of women is actually greater than men, and one out of 10 people actually uh, tend to get this, this kind of uh, disease, uh, be it either uh, genetically, uh, gen uh, how to say, uh, genetically inherited, or maybe like eat a lot of outside food, processed food, all these things basically will lead to cancer as well. Then uh, a lot of scientific actually shown that scientific research actually shown that phycocyanin actually is a very very good ingredient in the uh, future era due to its uh, um, valuable uh, innovative properties of treating the cell therapy. And what is phycocyanin? Phycocyanin basically is a very natural product that is derived from 3.6 billion years old of the microalgae. This microalgae is a blue and green in color and it's natural, non-toxic and it has a very very potent uh, anti-cancer, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effect as well. And um, basically this phycocyanin I believe that it's not only uh, uh, give a lot of protection to our cells but it also give a lot of vitality to our uh, human organ as well. How I find it uh, very suitable for uh, functional food development is because uh, after studying it I found that there are actually seven mechanisms of action of phycocyanin. First, in fact, it's a, a very, very potent superfood for our stem cells, the healthy stem cells. Then, uh, actually tackle our uh, cancer stem cells as well with its immense uh, amount of protein and amino acid in it. And it also convert, because due to the chlorophyll inside, it also convert the sun ray into the energy that we believe that this energy is the one that killing the cancer cells and to reduce the formation of, of the cancer cells as well. And nowadays, right, a lot of aesthetic doctors actually use this phycocyanin in uh, aesthetic, I mean, like any aging, uh, cell rejuvenation, and then cell repair uh, industries as well. So I believe that this will actually make it uh, a successful uh, replacement of maybe like she has that treatment in the future. Uh, secondly, basically, it's a very strong detoxifier in our body uh, because you see we actually eat a lot of uh, processed food, the chemical food with a, that, with a lot of preservative, it actually gives a lot of toxic and, and the harmful particles in our body as well. So phycocyanin basically can get rid and eliminate this kind of uh, toxic particles from our body very easily. And uh, that's why thirdly, I believe that it's a very strong liver protector as well. Because you know, actually our liver is the dustbin of our human body. So on and off, you have to really clean holes and rubbish from our liver. That's why phycocyanin play a very important role in it because it actually has the um, chelate, very strong chelating power that binds against these uh, heavy elements, heavy metals, and dispose it from our body. And you all know that actually the handphone and the electronic gadget basically give a lot of radiation to our body as well. And toes like the, the fried food, the BBQ, all these things are basically very, very, you know, there are a lot of uh, harmful, harmful elements. So we need this to actually get rid of it. And number four is of course, it will improve our immune system. 
So you see, due to the detoxifying agent, and uh, it, it, it is itself a very strong antioxidant and any free radicals. Basically, it will improve our cells, uh, red blood cells, like the cells uh, 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 enhancement. And then it will also prevent the cells from getting damaged from the radiation. So it's, it's very good for cancer patients, uh, especially those who are undergoing chemotherapy, who are undergoing radiation. Because phagocytin can actually prevent the cells from cell damage and the DNA damage as well. So uh, due to its uh, ability to produce a lot of uh, antibodies and the interleukin one that prevent the uh, infection, I believe that it's actually a, a very, very innovative and very suitable antioxidant agents that should be used widely. And number fifth, that's due to this kind of um, properties, right? I think it can actually tackle many, many root causes of some disease. You see, when we have the healthy cells, right? There are actually oxygen or you know nutrients can actually captured and retained in the cells very easily, and in that with a uh, uh, minimum DNA damage and uh, the, the ability to detox, I think that a lot of diseases will be actually eliminated from uh, using you know like taking this kind of uh, natural uh, blue elements from this microalgae. So it is like prevention is better than cure. And number six, I think it's a very good news. For those who are bedridden, you know, the bedridden patients basically they cannot move and they actually lie on the bed for long term. And it's actually a very burden for like doctors, nurses, and the family members as well. And when uh, due to this non motion uh, situation, the scars basically, I mean, the wounds basically will grow very fast at the back. That's why uh, fibrosanin play a very, very important role in cell treatment or cell repair and wound healing process. So it can basically help to stimulate the carotene of the sites. So the dry wounds actually, I mean the wet wounds actually can become the dry wounds very very fast. So I think it's a good choice that uh, bedridden patients should use this, like for example, toes that long term night on the bed. And the number seven is can actually use uh, widely in neurodegenerative disease as well, like for example, uh, Alzheimer, Parkinson. And uh, maybe can help in uh, preventing some cataracts as well due to uh, it actually can reduce the oxidative stress in our islands and uh, it will also prevent the sodium cyanide induced uh, cataracts as well. So in short, I think that phycocyanin is actually a really a natural gift that from the natures because it can actually you know like antioxidant, anti-tumor, anti-inflammatory, and it is a very very good. Uh, ingredient that uh, next time can be used in uh, cell therapy and uh, wound healing especially. So all these kind of uh, properties can actually lead to many other ways uh, in cardiovascular disease like uh, allergy rhinitis. I hope that fibrosanin can be seen by uh, more and more scientists and uh, uh, studies can be uh, uh, carried on 